What's going on everyone? Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. Hey, today I want to show you why it's very important to clay bar before you're going to polish or wax if you're going to use a machine. Now, if you're going to hand wax, this isn't such a big deal. However, in my opinion, if you don't clay it, it's not really a detail. I'm going to show you why. So, got a clean microfiber towel here in my 2-in-1 wash solution. Now, technically, this is going to wash and seal this area of paint, but the first step, we need to just get it clean. And you can tell the size is a little bit dirty. This towel is just a little bit stained up, but we'll just go ahead and flip to a completely different side. I'll just do it again. <clears throat> now I'm done with that. Now to demonstrate that I've cleaned this, I'm going to get another towel. So here we go, we can see this is a you know, pretty much brand spanking new towel. Right? So it's clean. This towel is damp, but this surface area is now clean, correct? Okay? Clean. I've got a brand new white polishing pad still in the package. No trickery. I'll take it out. Throw it on the machine. Got some finishing polish mainly because I'm not going to waste my good stuff on this little demonstration. We're just going to polish this real quick. <clears throat> this is a relatively soft pad. So it itself is not going to really do much. It's uh, mainly relying on whatever product you're using, but that's uh, another video for another day. Let's get started. Headphone users, you might want to mute it. Now this one's not too terribly bad, but if you look really closely, you can see that there's some browning in this pad. And this is just from this one little section. Now if we use a more aggressive compound that would get further into the clear coat, we would get even more. In fact, I've seen some of these orange pads turn pretty much black from just doing one section. So, why does that matter? Well, basically, as you just saw, What would happen is if you do, you know, you do an area and it's not been clayed and your, your pad is picking up all that dirt and you saw, you saw how fast the machine is running and as you're going around different parts of the car, it's picking up more dirt and it's spinning that dirt into the other areas of the paint. So something I've had happen quite a few times is a client will say, you know what, I had XYZ person do my car. It looked really great for three or four weeks, and then it's like it, it looked like they waxed it while it was dirty, right? I started seeing all these little tiny scratches and stuff. Well, that's because wax is a lot like makeup. Wax will fill in these pores of the paint, and then as it breaks down over time, typically a wax is really like a, a legit wax that is carnauba based. It's only going to last you a few weeks, maybe a month at best, and and then it's going to break down, and you know. That's what's going to happen. You're going to see those small imperfections and whatnot. So that's another common myth that wax, you know, uh, fixes scratches. It doesn't. Um, in fact, that's going to be another video for another day. I'll, I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons, everything. But that's why I wanted to show you, you know, just it's very, very important 
to, to clay bar vehicle, if you're gonna polish it with a machine, if you're gonna do paint correction, even if you're just gonna hand or machine wax it with just a regular liquid wax or a sealant, really there's no reason not to. Now the flip side of that coin is, don't go three, four, five years without detailing your car, without having it clay barred and all that good stuff, and then think that every bit of road tar and, and bug guts and things like that are gonna come out. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, it, it's, you hear me talk about laundry a lot, like how your interior fabrics are a lot like you know your favorite t-shirt. You know, you get something on the paint, you wanna get it off as soon as you can. The longer you leave it in there, the more potential it has to stain. Like for example, bug, bug guts, bird droppings, they're a lot of times acidic. And when you leave them sit there for weeks, months, years, that, that, that acidity actually edges into the clear coat. And if you let it go long enough, I've seen, them, I've seen bird droppings go all the way down to the metal, to the, to the bare metal. So you wanna, keep, you wanna keep your vehicle well maintained, even if it's just going through a touchless wash every week or two just to try to get the biggest stuff off. But always, I recommend having your car detailed, and quite frankly, I don't care if it's me or if it's somebody else, but you know, have it clayed every six months, you know, before winter and after winter, a really good, really good rule of thumb to, to, to stick to. And uh, that's gonna help keep the majority of the tar and whatnot off of it. And also, when I do it, I'm putting a good amount of protection back on it. Typically, my sealant is gonna depend on how long you know how how you take care of your vehicle as far as what elements is subject to and all that but it's rated for up to six months so you know going through the car wash get get the the super wash or whatever that has uh, a layer of their you know shine whatever whatever kind of wax or whatever they put on it it's going to give you something to help keep stuff from sticking to it it's going to make your car look better in the long run so yeah, it's gonna cost you a little bit more money in the long run, but you're gonna have a better looking vehicle over the lifetime that you own that vehicle. So that's all I've got for, for right now, and I'll see you guys on the next video.